What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sneaker Hand back with another sneaker convention. It's the day after SneakerCon Philly. I got uh, my bodyguard today. What's up? This is um, Zeke Resales. So, it's Super Bowl Sunday today. Uh, it's around 11 o'clock right now. It's raining, it's cold. I don't know how today's gonna go, but I can show you our outfits just in case the day doesn't go well. So, let's start with Zeke. Zeke, what you got on today? With the Sasha coat jacket from Sneaky Hand. That's a smart purchase because it's raining. And I got the cargo pants from MNL. And I got the shoes. Okay. Uh, Designer Kicks. vibes. All right. Cam's Kicks. We got uh, a special guest in today's video. What you doing over here? Just chilling. I'm chilling? tired. I just woke up. All right. What, what you got on today? Okay. Uh, start from the bottom. Are you Drake? Now we're here. Okay. <laughs> so I got my off white fives on. All right. These are like my dailies now. Then I got H and M sweatpants. I got my puffer jacket, North Face, that I actually got from Urban Outfitters. I didn't know they carry North Face, but you know now we do. And then I got the coronavirus gallery. Have you ever caught Corona? No, I actually never got it. Alright. I guess I'll show y'all what I'm wearing. I'm chilling today. I got my Abercrombie & Fitch Miami Heat hoodie on. You know what I mean? I love the heat. Shout out to D-Wade, favorite player. Got my black essential pants on. Um, okay. It's just the so, socks. I forgot my shoes at our Airbnb in Philly, so I'm wearing slippers. But these are stance socks. You like them? At least they're not $20 Adidas slides. Come on, man. I'm going to at least spend $25 on my slides. You know what I mean? Like, is crazy. Shout out to Cam. If you know, you know. But yeah, we here at KickSwap. If you don't, you broke. Yeah, we here at KickSwap. I don't really see that many people. So we'll see how today's go. If the event is asked, we're going to leave. And we're going to go store to store. Yeah, store to store. We're going to get some good African, African food. food. Yeah. And then, and then we got to drop Kaylin off at the airport because, you know, she got to fly back to, uh, I think she live in Miami now or whatever. So, yeah. You know damn well I don't live in Miami. Okay, guys. Um, I'm editing. I don't know if y'all can see. So, while we am ready to edit my YouTube video from Syncon Philly. And I packed my lunch today. Shout out to Amazon. My old job. Amazon Logistics. I packed my lunch because... That's how you save money. If you're going to be eating out, that shit adds up very, very quickly. I don't know why this man is filming me. Like, no paparazzi, but, um, lunch. yeah. I guess after I'm done doing this, I'll see y'all at a uh, kick swap. Guys, this event is ass. Look. Hold on, let me flip the camera. Empty tables. Empty tables, guys. Empty tables. And this is two, two hours into the event. So we're leaving. Um, it's raining. Super Bowl Sunday. I don't think people want to be here, so we're out. I like the music though. Back in Blood. This is a good song. Um, so I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day, but we'll figure it out and show you guys. So see you guys soon. All right, something I want to talk about right now is something that's going on in the secret community, which is scamming. I don't know why it's it's happening so much. It's a lot of resellers right now. The community is being a little oversaturated. So I just want to talk about my experience with two different resellers. Um, so the first person I'm calling out is this guy right here. His name is Douglas. I'll show you a picture of what he looks like. This is his personal page, Steezy Raw. I don't know if he's Mexican, whatever, but you can catch him in the DMV, uh, most specifically PG County area. He might be in PG County or DC, wherever he does business, but his resale page is called DLO Kicks. Um, I've done business with him several times because you know his prices was good, good enough for me to buy it and then resell it. Um, but when I did do business with him, the communication wasn't always the best, but I mean, I still got my product and now, um recently i can't even reach him 
I'm old product. So I posted about it on my Instagram and people were like, oh, that dude still resells, that dude still resells. And I'm like, I was confused because it was like, some people thought he retired. So the fact that I'm old product and he's still posting shoes when everyone, like a lot of people thought he retired is not a good look. So don't do business with him. Um, might be posting like steals. I don't know what, but uh, if, if it's too good to be true, just, you mean, just don't trust it. Second person I'm calling out is this guy um, that I used to do business with back at Cam's Kicks. I don't know his actual name, but uh, this is his page for underscore the underscore soul underscore official. This is a picture of me and him at Cam's Kicks. And then um, obviously when Cam's Kicks closed, he started coming to Sneaker Tech and doing business with me there. Um, and the situation with him was um, one of the last buyouts I had while I was at Sneaker Tech before I left last October was um, bought a couple pairs. One of them ended up being fake. So I reached out to him, told him about it. It was like, he's so sorry, he's gonna refund me. And I reached out for the refund. He was like, oh, my job cut my hours. I haven't been working. I can't afford to pay my bills and refund you. So I'm just like, okay, let me know when you're gonna refund me. And then now it's just to the point where it's like no communication. I was texting him like three, four times. So I was like, all right, cool. So he's a, I mean, he honestly lied to me, as you can see in his picture, like maybe he's doing some side business with Hank. Maybe Hank is his idol, I don't know. But this is his page for the Soul Official. So just, yeah, if you ever see him posting shoes, I wouldn't recommend buying because, you know what I mean? It's just like, you just never know. You know, you just never, you just never know. Um, the economy right now is bad. Uh, we're experiencing a recession in our country. So if there's a recession, there's not a lot of customers for resellers. So some resellers are on their way out the game. And I guess when they when they make up their mind of leaving the game, they uh, they do some grimy stuff on their way out as far as scamming people and not delivering product that's old to people or not refunding people. It's just bad. So. I'm going to talk more about the sneaker, the state of the sneaker community in another separate video, but as far as this video, I just wanted to call out these two people right there. This, the second guy, I forgot to say this, he's based out of Reading, PA, so like if you're in Reading, Pennsylvania, or like, you know, local areas like Philly, York, Lancaster, I would just be aware of him because, uh, you know. If you burn one person, you never know. They'll burn another. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to be good regardless because I always have a contingency plan when it comes to business. Like you never want to spend your last on sneakers. So, you know, you can afford a rainy day if that makes sense. So. Enough about these scammers, let's get back to today's regularly scheduled programming. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Sneaker Hen. I got my, my guy right here. We are in uh, Laurel, Maryland, um, PG County. He's buying some, uh, you wanna tell the people what you're buying? The 1980s. You said what? The 1984s. Are they men's or kids? Kids. Yeah, so. He's been buying bulk, bulk midnight navy fours, and I don't, I don't want to like sit on them, so I'm pretty much selling it to him. Um, I got a couple pairs. He got a couple pairs as well. So we about to run this up, organize these shoes, and then see how much, how much damage we doing. What the fuck are those? <laughs> you like my Crocs? I don't like them. Really. Like people are just wearing them for the hype. You don't like my Crocs? Fire. <laughs> no traction though. <laughs> no traction left. 
<laughs> so while we doing this meetup, there's like a car about to be towed. I don't know what's going on. But um, yeah, we're in Laurel, PG County, Maryland. It's a lot going on. Got restaurants, got stores. Um, I'm just sitting here vlogging while he's doing all this work. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm acting like Cam when we used to work with Cam. Like he was just filming like, and we just be doing all the work while Cam was just filming and filming. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's more, there's about five left. The dunk is for my friend. Is it a 20 pairs? Huh? Is it 20 pairs? Is it a what? 20 pairs? 20 pairs? Yeah. I don't know, I didn't even count. Body. Two more. So what we got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's twenty pairs. Alright guys, we're gonna do some negotiating and then um if we can agree on the price, he's gonna cash me out and I can pay child support this week. Alright. So we'll check in with you guys in a second. So how did you get this money? Uh, it's, a, it's a crazy story. My parents gave me the money. Your parents gave you the money? You know that's yeah. a good way to start. As long as you ain't scam nobody for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, alright guys, so yeah, he just gave me 800 but look, my life is a mess right now and I just gotta make a, you know, I gotta make laughter out of the situation when I can, so I'm gonna be making jokes here and there about it, if, if you guys not rocking with it, I'm sorry, but it, it's my life, it's depressing when I think about it sometimes, so I just try to laugh it off, but <sighs> money's money. I'm bad at math. One, two, Can make sure three, this is 40. four, five, six, 48. seven, eight. So this is 800. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be, right? Yeah. All right. I used to be 17. I just I'm, turned 18. You just turned 18? Yeah. Man, you got a head start. You had more money than me at 18. Wait, actually, no. You, have, you got $20,000 right now? Yeah. All right, yeah, you had more money than me at 18. Would you be mad if I just threw this up? I mean, it's your money already. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Six, seven, eight, That's where we go right nine, here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, I got 17, so let me subtract 17. So there's 17 left. That's what I got on. What are you doing? Minus, Price, minus 800, 800. minus 1700. 800. So now you owe me 1700. Sure. That don't look like 1700. <laughs> Yeah. Someone show them bread. <laughs> you gave me 500. Now you owe me 1200. Y'all want to see me twerk? Whoa, I know you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Better put that in the video. The hammer's been doing some this sensitivities lately. Oh. I don't know where he got it from and all that, but it's like, he's been going up and talking about twerking and doing all that. I don't Where know what's up with him. Right. How was that? 1,700 minus 500 is 1,200. Minus the 500 you put in your pocket. This is just, yo. What? Yo, he's bugging. I'm not that bad with math. Look. He's fucking up his math. Look. Look. You gave me $17,100 bills plus eight. Count that, count that again. Okay, we get all kind of all again. Okay, this is 17 plus 8. What is 17 plus 8? 28. 
2300. So this is 2300. What the fuck? 2500. Huh? You're right. It's 25. 17 plus 8 is 25. So mine is 25, right? I feel it. 1700. I don't go this to school, so it's like, uh, I didn't make it past the 10th grade. <laughs> 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. So like, 450, 500. Uh, here. Like, trying my best, and Heron's just he don't know how to negotiate, and it's just really bad. But what it is, Wait, so what's left? And why is this camera so clear today? Because we outside. Oh, mine is not clear. So it's five. This one, buying this one, man. I told you it's not complete. He tried to fucking jit me. Loyalty sneakers on Instagram. <laughs> it's a dot somewhere. <laughs> just, just when you do you business, loyal to? just make sure you, you count the money. Who are you loyal to? Why you come up with that resale name, Loyalty Sneakers? I don't know. Who are you loyal to? No one. Are you loyal to your business partners? Uh, no, my brother left. My business partner. Your business partner left you? Yeah, he left me. He made his own page. Bro, honestly, it happened to me too. At least you know where your brother is. He's right there. Oh. At least, at least you, you can reach him. You yeah, see him. I don't even. I'm my brother would never come it. out to resell with me. Who would try to make more money? Who told me no? Rest sleep on the couch to make money. I'm sneaker hand. Bro, you is somebody, bro. Cause because we here, we alive, we taking breaths, man. We out here. You're the one on TV. Hey, you this is the TV. You got the TV. This is the TV. This is the platform, man. You the currency, you the energy, we the culture, bro. What we see on TV is just a micro form. We are the culture. 